Welcome back to Star Soaps Channel. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> today I am going to be participating in another Kiwi Soap Makers Challenge, making my Cherry Moya Soap. Yeah, I haven't done that for a while. It's a bit of a shout out to the past. So come with me and I'll show you how I make it. Squee! I'm going to be doing a tiger stripe because that is the challenge for the month of August in the Kiwi Soap Makers group over on Facebook. So if you're a soap maker from New Zealand or even Australia, feel free to come over and join the Kiwi Soap Makers group on Facebook. It's really groovy and they have a prize that they give away every month for the winner of the challenge. So that's pretty cool too. If you're a subscriber and you've seen my recent videos and you'll know what the prize is. So first of all we mixed our lye and our oils all at room temperature to a light trace or emulsification and now we're just separating out our portions of soap batter to, for our different colours and I'm going to be doing mostly white and mostly green with a little tiny accent of black. Now I have made a tiger stripe successfully once before and it was a good three years ago now so I will leave a link to that video below. And I used essential oils only and my soap stayed lovely and fluid. It was almost too liquidy to start with which was a real concern but then as things went on it worked really really well. So feel free to check that video out after you've watched this one. So I'm adding some nice bright pea green mica into this jug. I do think this is a really good interpretation of the colour rather than a darker green and if you've ever seen the cherry moya fruit you probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't know anything about the cherry moya fruit it is otherwise known as custard fruit and it's green on the outside with a sort of almost scaly look on the skin and it has white flesh with black seeds so that's why I've picked these colours. So I added a little bit of green glitter from Mad Oils in there as well. Shout out to Peggy who sent me that little sample of glitter just to kind of make that green pop that little bit more. Now I'm putting some activated charcoal that is suspended in olive oil into my little tiny accent cup there and it makes a very very nice shade of black. <laughs> So I'm pulling out the stick blender now to make sure everything's really well incorporated. It's important to use your stick blender especially when you're using clays and like titanium dioxide because I find that they don't really incorporate quite as well or as thoroughly just with a spatula mix as say a mica will. You can see that just mixing with a spatula the mica will suspend throughout the soap but the clay never quite does until you hit it with the stick blender. So that's a little insider tip for you little soap making people out there. <laughs> so again another little stick blend now that the fragrance is in and I'm loving how it smells. It's really fruity, it's, it's sort of creamy and fruity but it's also like candy, it's so yum. It's a really really good fragrance and it does actually hold up really well after a cure and behaves pretty well in the cold process soap as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these to thicken a little bit more I've decided because I want them to really be at the right consistency and because of that when I go to pour as you will see here my soap is actually a little bit thicker than I maybe wanted it to be. So it just means that my layers are much thicker because it's more difficult to pour a thinner amount. Does that make sense? I pour a larger amount therefore I get thinner lines therefore I don't have as dramatic tiger stripe. So it's just another little thing to keep in mind when you're doing this technique. You want your soap batter to be thin and you want it to be fluid so that you can actually pull this technique off really well. Scrub, bubble, leather, mm, scrub, bubble, leather, mm, star subs, give natural handmade soap without chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I want my skin smooth and new with handmade artisan star soap. It's true. Scrub bubble leather. Mm, 
stuff so mmm I love the way they make my skin feel no more joy dryness only luxury for me everyone deserves a little pampering all natural star soaps scrub bubble leather mm, scrub bubble leather mm, star soaps Scrub bubble leather. Mm, scrub bubble leather. Mm, star soap, skin, natural handmade soap without chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I want my skin smooth and new with handmade artisan star soap. It's true. Scrub bubble leather. Mmm, star soaps. Mmm, I love the way they make my skin feel. No more dry dryness, only luxury for me. Everyone deserves a little pampering. All natural star soaps. Soaps. Scrub bubble leather, mm, scrub bubble leather, mm, star soaps, skin natural hair, 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 hair. Scrub bubble leather, mm, scrub bubble leather, mm, star soaps, skin natural hair. So without chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients, I want my skin smooth and new with handmade artisan star soap. It's true. Scrub bubble leather. So it sits overnight and we're back again the next day to unmold and cut it and see how that swirly stripe turned out. Now I'm just gently unmolding this soap onto my cutter because it is a very, very soft soap. It hasn't hardened up that well, which I'm blaming on the temperatures at the moment where I live and therefore in my soaping room. It's been so cold and I think that that does really slow everything down and it means that my soaps aren't really quite what I want them to be be and yet I'm still ready to cut them so <laughs> as you can see stubborn old me I go ahead and cut this anyway even though I really possibly should have just left it just sitting on the cutter for another hour or so would have been enough just to give it that little bit more time to let the air get to it so as you can see trying to take that little shaving off it is literally squishy it's not hard but this little other little end piece is all right and now I'm just going to try and take a few bars off and show you what it actually looks like on the inside. And it is really not wanting to come apart. <laughs> and here we have it. So not quite the stripes, stripey stripes that I wanted, but it still looks groovy. And it really smells amazing. And because I've used the recommended amount of fragrance oil this time, whereas in the past I've actually used half the recommended amount, it has actually just coloured my soap. So the white soap has actually gone to a creamy yellow that's not just a tinge from the camera. That really has happened. And I'm not too fussed about that either because, again, it's custard fruit. It's sweet and creamy, and that colour represents the scent beautifully as well. So... It's just something to bear in mind when in the past I've used this fragrance I've been able to state that it does not discolour. Now I know if you use the recommended amount based on your oils, your base weight of oils, then yeah, you will find it discolours. So I'm just having to run the cutter back through these two bars, as you can see, in order to get them apart because it's so sticky. <laughs> and here we have the final soaps and I hope you enjoyed watching me make them I really really enjoyed making them I had a lot of fun and I will try the technique again and attempt to get the soap to be thinner but I think I might have run out of time to enter any more into the challenge it's all right so here we have the final soaps up on the curing rack and they've developed interesting ash it almost makes it look like they partially gelled so that's kind of funny this week I'd like to highlight Leslie Meserve and her beautiful Prince Tribute soap that she made after Prince passed away. 
It's really, really gorgeous, and she shared a picture of it in our Star Soaps family group over on Facebook. So if you would like your picture highlighted here, then please feel free to come over and share it with us in the group on Facebook. We really love seeing everything you create. I hope you like this video, and if you want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button, become a member of our Star Soaps family, and feel the soapy love. Bye! <laughs> Scrub bubble leather. Mm, scrub bubble leather. Mm, Stars up, skip natural hair.